Over the course of the last few years, we've gotten a ton of new information on Tyrannosaurus. Back in the 90s, when the first couple of Jurassic Park movies were coming out, this animal was still recognized as the undisputed king of the dinosaurs. But paleontology has a sense of always trying to one-up a previous paper or scientific article by stating that the newer information that's been gathered is so much more cutting edge than what's come before that all previous data is almost obsolete. As a kid, Sue was regarded as the biggest T-Rex around and ruled of the dinosaurs we'd so far discovered. But then Giganotosaurus and Spinosaurus started getting massive attention thanks to stories from games like Dino Crisis 2 and movies like Jurassic Park 3. Well, nowadays, we talk more about a new big bad T-Rex named Scotty, and there was even a write-up in Prehistoric Times that stated that Tyrannosaurus may have actually gotten 70% bigger than we previously believed. Well, now, another new T-Rex is allegedly the big bad in town, and and today, I wanted to talk all about it. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a new Tyrannosaurus specimen named E.D. Cope. This is a T-Rex that's gotten a lot of attention over the last few months over it allegedly being the new king of the dinosaurs, putting it as by far the most massive T-Rex found so far on record and putting its devastating bite force in line with the already huge size. Look, it's kind of proving time and time again that people actually did have it right back in the early 1900s. And T-Rex was indeed the big bad guy you'd want to watch out for. And yes, that includes going up against the Giga and Spinosaurus. Of course, this information would be something to talk about in depth. We could go all, all in on it and dive into the details had it not been for another discovery. So get this, not only is Cope claimed to be the new king of the dinosaurs and biggest Rex on record, I think sitting somewhere around 11 tons or something, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I know you'd love to, but he's already getting challenged to that throne with yet another massive animal getting some scientific publishing done soon. A T-Rex that they're naming Bertha, hot on its tail, that may very well kick this new king off the top spot for biggest Tyrannosaurus Rex around. Now look guys, a lot of dinosaur fans will already be clued in on how powerful and apex the average Tyrannosaur already was, we know this, but that isn't to say that creatures like a Giga or the Spinosaurus were pushovers or anything of the sort. It's just that with a few decades of, oh my dinosaur is bigger than the T-Rex, you kind of get a bunch of information floating around that makes this whole debate and subject matter very, very silly. You know guys, the last few years have actually been really, really cool for T-Rex. This has been kind to the animal. It is always looked at as a big, bad, formidable dinosaur, but I don't know if you remember this, we covered it a few years ago. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was actually found on top of a Triceratops skeleton with its teeth embedded in the trike's spine. It looks like they both killed each other during a battle, and to go up against something like a trike, you have have to be pretty hardcore. Look, these were mortal enemies, and to be completely honest with you, during the Cretaceous period, there were a lot of other formidable creatures that Tyrannosaurus Rex would have had to come across, even when it's very young, something like a Quetzalcoatlus, or as it got older, Ankylosaurs, you also have very, very large Hadrosaurs that the animal would try to hunt down for prey, and to see an animal like T-Rex continuously get elevated as, yes, the, the rumors were true, this guy was the king for a reason, and it's not just E.D. Cope. The fact that there's another dinosaur named Bertha. I love the name, by the way, Big Old Bertha. It reminds me of uh, a lot of us fans call the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the original Jurassic Park, Roberta, rather than Rex. Rexy's such a lame name. Roberta just sounds better. And I, I just think that Tyrannosaurus Rex, as time has gone by, has been very well treated by, you know, facts. I do love Giganotosaurus in its own right. I kind of wish that we would get a different design in a Jurassic World movie, but to be completely real with you, I'd love to see instead of two theropods that are of different species go head to head, I'd really like to see two T-Rexes battle it out because this was something that really did happen back during the Cretaceous period. And can you imagine what that would look like in a Jurassic film, especially if they actually add in the more cannibalistic nature of Tyrannosaurs and how they would realistically fight? These things chomping at each other's faces, trying to end one immediately. This was a high aggression animal. The new science is just 
awesome every time we go over it. Sorry if you can't tell already, you probably know this if you've been watching me for a while. I'm a big T-Rex fanboy. It's my favorite dinosaur. I know, cliche, but I, I don't care. Anyways, this animal was not a pushover. This was not what you see in the new movies. This was T-Rex the way T-Rex always has been. Consider the various different forms that Spinosaurus has taken on in the last 10 years alone, or even the information that has come out for the last three decades on, you know, how slow and fat T-Rex might have been and how it may have had exclusive scavenging behavior. And look, don't even get me started about the whole division of the animal into different Tyrannosaur descriptions like Regina and I think they were calling it Imperator. It doesn't matter. But look, we went over that a couple of years ago. Paleontology is usually giving us the best guesses they can, but we now have so much information that corroborates with the older hypotheses that Tyrannosaurus Rex was indeed the most brutal, massive, undisputed, largest, like, devastating carnivore to dinosaurs, and it's almost becoming comical at this point. Like, it's too strong. And it's not even in parody-like fashion, where he's getting more stronger with every discovery. It's literally just how it is, and how it's kind of always been. Now, of course, with these new studies surrounding how alpha the T-Rex really is, it's kind of leaving me to wonder what that means for the Jurassic Park brand. You guys already know. Look, you know how I feel about how the animal has been treated for nearly 20 years now. Now, I, I think it was okay in Fallen Kingdom, but ever since the Spino broke its neck in JP3 and as recently as Dominion, the animal needing outside assistance from raptors or a Therizinosaurus to take down an enemy or even cowering away from fights if it didn't get obliterated in the first few seconds of a scuffle. Look, I mean, this is kind of weird to say the least. Like at this point, if you walk into a theater and see a T-Rex get its butt kicked, you're just gonna be like, no, this is, this is silly. Like I actually like Spinosaurus, by the way, from Jurassic Park 3. Beautifully designed animal and one of the most elaborate Stan Winston animatronics ever made. I think it deserves its place in a newer Jurassic film, and I would love to see it come back and do something awesome, especially a lot of, you know, like water fights or or just behavior where it attacks something and drags it underneath the surface, like what we see in the boat attack in JB3. I just can't buy into a T-Rex being a pushover anymore, though. It's just not gonna happen, and I don't think I'm alone on that. In fact, if they do ever plan on introducing us to another Tyrannosaur in the Jurassic Park series, whether it be a movie, game, whatever, it should probably be bigger than we've seen before. And you might say, well, you know, the T-Rex in the Jurassic World movie is already pretty massive. But look, if there's a genetics company involved and that's trying to, you know, make the most apex thing in the planet, yeah, it, maybe it should be bigger. They already have a precedent for like Trespasser to do a gigantic red one or something. So, or even the Michael Crichton novel to make it red in general. Right now, this new information around Tyrannosaurus Rex has been out for a while and there may even be a little bit more around the corner revealing Bertha to be even bigger than Edie Cope. That's saying a lot when it comes to this species and and it's something that I really think needs to be taken into consideration when they make newer movies. But guys, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on Tyrannosaurus Rex. This last year alone, we've gotten so much material that has been interesting regarding the creature. And I don't know, I, I just, I find it very hard to believe that you can't just do Jurassic World Rex and just have it obliterate every species imaginable. I think it's kind of cool, man. This new information, it's really old information. What's old is new and what's new is old. Those are all just my own thoughts and opinions though, and whatever yours happen to be, I would love to hear all about them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I want to thank everyone that's helped me build my channel over the years. I'd also like to thank every one of you guys who've watched my stuff. You've all been extremely cool to me. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hope that you'll consider subscribing. God bless you all. Christ is King. See you guys in the next video, and as always, take it easy.